Welcome to part two of our lesson. If you haven't watched part one, please go back and watch part one. Okay, so let's try this. Greater than, equal to, and less than. Remember, greater than eats the biggest number. So here's our little greater than sign, and he even has little teeth and an eye, kind of like an alligator. So let's try this. All right, so let's try two different numbers. I'm going to write 81, and I'm going to write 71. Let's figure out which is the greatest number. Well, we know that 80 is bigger than 70, so 81 is greater than 71. So let's use the greater than symbol to show that 81 is greater than 71. Remember, it's like the alligator is eating the greatest number. Okay, so let's try another set of numbers. We are going to try 104 on this side and 160 on the other side. So let's figure out which number is greater. Well, we know that 60 is bigger than four, so 160 must be bigger than 104. So remember, the symbol is going to eat the greatest number. So 160 is greater than 104. So we say this as 104 is less than 160. Okay, you guys are doing really well so far. Let's see what our next group of numbers is. How about 97 and 98? Let's see, which is a greater number? Well, we know that eight is greater than seven. So 98 must be greater than 97. Remember our symbol eats the greatest number. So we know that 97 is less than 98. Okay, a uh, couple more examples. Let's see, how about 48 and 34? Okay, 34. So which is greater, 48 or 34? We know that 48 is greater than 34, so our little alligator is going to eat the greatest number, so we know that 48 is greater than 34. We're going to try one more example. Uh, let's see. So it will be the number 20 and the number 20. So is 20 greater than, less than, or equal to 20? Well, we know 20 and 20 are the same, so they are equal. So 20 is equal to 20. Thanks for listening.